All right, I just have Apple's latest gear. That's the 16, the 16 Pro, the AirPod 4s, the Apple Watch 10, and the Ultra. I'm gonna unbox them all right now. Let's do this. So this is the iPhone 16 Pro. I've got both sizes. So there's a 16.3 inch one and a 16.9 inch one. And these ones are actually bigger by about a 0.1 of an inch from last year's model. So let's start with the little one and we'll open it up. So these are all titanium and this little one here is the natural titanium. So the same color as last year, but I'm told that I think the edges, which are actually aluminum or aluminum, um, are a little bit different in terms of their polish. It's a really nice size. So this is 120 uh, hertz screen. Uh, this one is a little brighter this year as well. Uh, means 120 hertz means it's super smooth. Otherwise, the camera housing looks very similar to the iPhone. Uh, 15, USB-C, which isn't new, but very new is the new camera control. So the camera control, this is actually not really a button. It feels like a button and you can sort of press it like a button, but it actually is sensitive around you swiping left and right and can be used for the camera controls. Okay, so otherwise inside the box, we've got some cables, we've got a SIM card extractor. That's for models that are outside of the US. Um, this one here has the actual SIM um, tray here, um, but also we've got the same uh, new function button as last year. Um, everything else seems to be about the same place as before. So you got USB-C cables, but there's no charger in the box. So that's it for the iPhone 16 Pro 6.2 inch. Let's take a look at the, uh, now the bigger one, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This is 6.8 inches. This is a new desert titanium. It's made it from 100% recycled aluminum, which is first for an iPhone, uh, and you got a separate back glass replacement, and that makes the iPhone easier to repair. So you're seeing 48 megapixels across the board for all cameras now, except for the telephoto, which is still 12 megapixel, and that's a five times optical zoom. Um, this is their hardest um, actual screen uh, than ever. They're using the hardest glass uh, that they've ever used. Um, Inside we've got the A18 Pro chip. The A18 is the one in the iPhone 16, but the Pro is even more powerful. And this is designed for all kinds of things from computational photography, as well as supporting Apple's new Apple intelligence. When that feature is available via software download for Australians in December, for the guys in the US in about October. It runs iOS 18, so that's pre-installed, but the Apple intelligence features will come a bit later. Couple of new cases. We've got the iPhone 16 Pro silicon case here. We'll try to open that one up. Sort of a faux leather suede texture on the inside, silicon on the outside. MagSafe as well. See the ring here. There we go. Now we've got the uh, clear Pro Max case, also MagSafe compatible. because you want to show off your new you know, desert bronze color. It 
has a special button here for the uh, camera control, as well as button, sort of covered buttons. This one also has a uh, special separate button above the actual camera control. Okay, so new iPhone 16. This one is pink. So this new pink is actually quite saturated and they've used a new sort of process to create more sort of brighter colors. Uh, this is one of a number of different colors. You can get blue, you can get like a teal, you can get black, white, and pink. Also new, we have the action button, which wasn't on the iPhone 15. Uh, there's also a new camera housing. Now we have one on top of the other. This is apparently good for creating uh, spatial videos and photos that you can use with the Vision Pro. Also the uh, the flash is on the outside of the camera housing for the first time. This has got the new A18 chip, so it's up from the 16, so that's a considerable jump in terms of performance. That means it can do Apple intelligence when it's available in Australia around December and in the US around October as a software update. It comes with iOS 18 pre-installed. Also, you get the camera control button. So this is a button as well as a slider. It can sense how your finger moves across it, different levels of pressure, as well as presses as well. You got aluminum on the side, you got the hardest and most uh, rugged glass ever on the front. USB-C and a whole bunch of other capabilities. You just have cables. Uh, these are USB-C as well as the SIM tray pin. Uh, in the U.S., you won't have the SIM tray, but in overseas models, you do have it. Apparently, it supports up to eight eSIMs, eight different eSIMs, uh, but in Australia, you also get one physical SIM. In China, I'm told that you get a dual physical SIM tray. This is still a 60 hertz screen, but otherwise, it's bright, it's OLED, and it looks great. This is the iPhone 16 Plus silicon case. So this is the larger size, and it supports the bigger of the two iPhone 16s. Forgot to mention that that was an iPhone 16 Plus that I just took. So it's got like a little bit of a faux suede on the inside. It's also got a separate hole for the flash and the new camera housing. This is silicon. And it's also MagSafe compatible. There, it just popped in. There are buttons for the action button on the outside, as well as a button here for the camera control, sort of a separate uh, external button. Apple Watch 10. This is the 46 millimeter Jet Black AI Ink. That's what this one is called. So Series 10. This is a new band. This one is the Sport Loop Hook and Loop Closure.
USB-C, and this apparently now charges twice as fast. After 15 minutes, you can get up to eight hours of use on the new Apple Watch 10. This is a new version of the Apple Watch Ultra 2, only now it comes in a new color. This is the 49 millimeter titanium version of the Apple Watch Ultra 2. And band. Cool. This is the Milanese loop. This is titanium and it looks like it's the uh, black titanium version. It has a dual release buckle on it too because uh, you can't have magnetics working with titanium metal. So USB-C charger inside, but it's not color-coded to the watch, unfortunately, unlike the MacBook Pros available in midnight. This is a 49 millimeter specialized Milanese loop band. Oh, it looks like you open up this side. So this is the new ocean band and black titanium buckle because you get black hardware choices for the black version of the Apple Watch Ultra 2. That's those to match it better. These are the AirPod 4s. There are two different versions. One is the standard version and one is the one with active noise cancelling. They look very similar, but there are a few small differences. Obviously, active noise cancelling is the big feature. So these are the normal ones. And these are the least expensive uh, AirPods you can buy. in the box. Phew, okay, so that was everything that Apple has just launched. I really like the iPhone 16. This pink color is really nice, really vibrant, and the case isn't bad either. Plus, I love the Apple Watch 2 Ultra Titanium finish. Very sexy. Anyway, I'm Val Quinn. Be sure to give us a like and a subscribe. Really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next video.